One after the other, Venezuelan regional military commanders took to the airwaves to declare loyalty to President Nicolás Maduro, saying that the opposition efforts to replace him with a transitional government were an attempted coup. A position reiterated by the country's defense minister, Vladimir Padrino. I alert the people of Venezuela that a coup is being carried out against our institutions, against our democracy, against our constitution, against our president, Nicolas Maduro, the legitimate president of the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela. It was a show of unity and strength for the embattled government of Nicolas Maduro. And it came the day after the largest anti-government demonstrations in the country since 2017, and after the young opposition leader Juan Guaidó proclaimed himself the legitimate interim president. Outside Venezuela, a number of countries, including the United States, have backed Guaidó's claim to legitimacy. And on Thursday, U.S. State Secretary Mike Pompeo insisted Maduro's time was up. The time for debate is done. The regime of former President Nicolas Maduro is illegitimate. His regime is morally bankrupt, it's economically incompetent, and it is profoundly corrupt. The president answered ordering all Venezuelan diplomats home from the United States and giving U.S. diplomats in Venezuela 72 hours to leave. Other world powers like Russia and China came to Maduro's rescue, warning the U.S. against external intervention in the country. It is another flagrant interference into internal affairs of a sovereign state. As you know, there has been several attempts to oust Maduro from power, including attempts on his life. Here in the border city of Cucuta, thousands of Venezuelans keep crossing into Colombia on a daily basis in search of food, medicine and basic health services they can't access back home. They say they've received the latest news from Venezuela with a mix of hope and weariness. We needed this to happen to bring about change. Unfortunately, it will take more dead and injured, but continuing in our current state of misery is not an option. Local NGOs say 26 people have been killed since the latest wave of protests against Maduro began four days ago. The president called for dialogue with the opposition, but few see any alternatives to more turmoil in coming days. Alessandro Ampietti, Al Jazeera, Cucuta.